Let's assume that in January 2020, our exchange rate is 0.8 euro per Australian dollar. This is considered direct or indirect. This is indirect quotation. Why? Because I express foreign currency per one unit of domestic currency. Then after one month, we have 0.83 euro per Australian dollar. So remember, we have two currencies, euro and Australian dollar. I would like you to tell me what happened to the value of each currency. It went up, which we call it appreciation, or the value went down, which we call it depreciation. So let's talk about our first exchange rate. 0.8 euro per Australian dollar. It means that we need to pay 0.8 euro to get one Australian dollar. And then after one month, what's our new exchange rate? It's 0.83 euro in order to get one unit of Australian dollar. So this means that in order to get the same one unit of Australian dollar, we need to pay more of euros. If we need to increase the number of units of euros to get the same unit of Australian dollar, it means that its value becomes lower. So remember, if you increase the number of units, the value will be lower, not higher. Therefore here, what will happen to the value of AUD? For the same one AUD, I will get more units of Euro. So our AUD will go up, which we call it, its value is higher, it's called appreciation, and the value of the Euro will go down, which is called depreciation. Let's get another example. In January 2020, we have 0.8 Euro per Australian dollar, and then a month later in February 2020, the exchange rate became 0.77 Euro per Australian dollar. Remember, we have two currencies, Euro and Australian dollar. So with the first exchange rate, we will pay 0.8 Euro to get one Australian dollar. In the second exchange rate, we will pay 0.77 to get the same Euro, one Euro. Therefore, Remember, we have two exchange rates, Euro and Australian dollar. The first exchange rate is we need to pay 0.8 Euro to get one Australian dollar. The second exchange rate is we need to pay 0.77 Euro to get one Australian dollar. So in order to get the same one Australian dollar, we will get 0.77 instead of 0.8. We will get lower Euros. If we get lower Euros, it means that the number of units decrease, it means that the value of the euro will be higher. Consequently, for Australia, if we're going to get less units, it means that our value will decrease for Australian dollar, which we call it depreciation. And for the euro, because the number of units will decrease to get the same one Australian dollar, so it means that the value of the euro will go up, which we call it appreciation. Let's get another example. Here we have Australian dollar per euro, so this is an example of direct quotation domestic currency per foreign currency, which means the foreign currency will always be one unit. And then after one month in February 2020, our Australian dollar 1.3 per one unit of euro. So here we have two currencies, Australian dollar and euro. I need to pay 1.25 Australian dollar to get one euro. After one month, I need to pay 1.3 Australian dollar to get the same one euro. So if you look here, I need to pay more units of Australian dollar to get the same one unit of euro. So this means that the value of Australian dollar will be lower. Consequently, what will be the value of euro? If for the same one euro, I will get more units of the other currency, therefore the value of the euro will go up, which is called appreciation. The value of Australian dollar will be lower, which we call it depreciation. Another example, 1.25 Australian dollar per euro. After one month, it is 1.2 Australian dollar per euro. We have two currencies, Australian dollar and euro. I need to pay 1.25 Australian dollar to get one euro. After one month, I need to pay 1.2 Australian dollar by the same one euro. So look here, in order to get the same one euro, now we need to pay less units of Australian dollar. If we need to pay less units of Australian dollar, it means that the value of the Australian dollar becomes higher. Consequently, what happened to the value of the euro? It becomes lower. Why? Because the same one euro will buy less units of the other currency, which is Australian dollar in our example. Therefore, the value of the euro will go down, which is called depreciation, and the value of Australian dollar will go up, which is called appreciation. Remember that in exchange rate, we talk about the price of one currency in terms of another currency, which means we have two currencies. Therefore, if one currency will go up, the other currency must go down. If one currency appreciates, the other currency must depreciate. 
they cannot both go up or go down at the same time. They always move in opposite direction. One currency appreciates, the other currency depreciates. One currency depreciates, the other currency appreciates.